Hello everyone, how's it going? You're looking at Infinity Crates for May 2016 and I think I just worked out this is my longest lasting geek subscription, the one I've kept continually over a good time period because Infinity Crates is always a uh, an interesting box to look inside because you get a personalised t-shirt and pop according to your interest, or at least somewhere negotiating around those. So you get quite a good amount for your money normally in these boxes. And uh, this is a UK box, it's uh, medium heavy, if that means anything. Arrived quite safely with me but it took a few days to find a day I was in to get here as well. And I believe the theme for this one is Honour, although it's not the easiest one to find out some of these themes afterwards and avoid a load of spoilers and reviews as well. So if it turns out not to be, then we'll have a surprise. But I have just cut through the tape, I'm not looking inside yet, so let's see what's inside the May 2016 Infinity Crates, unboxed by GeekSubscriptionBox.com. And uh, first of all, information card, luckily upside down, so I'll put that to one side, but it's good to have that. And um, I will move straight on to this pop, because he's staring us in the face, Captain America Civil War. Uh, which is a really great pop, apart from, I believe I got this in another box not that long ago. I can't remember which one. I think it may have been in Comic Block. So, here's a really nice one. Interesting shade of blue. I think that's the same comment I made in the previous review for that. And clearly very up to date, and um, a key character to have. But just unfortunately for me, this one's going to be a duplicate. But it is a good start to a box to have a decent pop. There's all these other ones in the series to collect as well, which I've now got quite a few because they've been really popular in boxes recently. So next, oh, something quite heavy underneath there, which I think is going to be a cup. Well wrapped up to avoid it breaking, and something else there. Oh, and with things in, but let's go for the t-shirt next. So, it's a great t-shirt. Uh, here comes Daredevil, the man without fear. Uh, very timely, I've just finished watching Daredevil Series 2 um, on is it Netflix. There you go. So quite timely, and of course one of my favourite superheroes as well, come to think of it. Interesting design, very faint look at Daredevil with the red writing. But it will be an exclusive shirt, and I do like grey as a colour, so that works out quite well for me. Well, let's move on. So we said uh, here it's going to be Adventure Time. We'll tip something out there. We'll look at it in a minute. So we'll be Bro Legends, Bro Gens. I haven't watched enough Adventure Time to know the reference, but it's one of those things I keep trying to get into and managed to watch a couple of episodes, but haven't quite got there. Maybe at some point. They are easy and short to dip into, but quite a nice mug. Not had many mugs for a while, so replace some of the ones that get broken. It'll need to be left around, so official logo is always a good sign, Cartoon Network there, made in Basildon, so uh, that's in, in Essex for people outside the UK interested in these boxes. So up next we've got a little sword here, Game of Thrones, there, um, don't really know what we do with it, but the, ha the handle looks rather bent, maybe that's deliberate, there. Uh, it looks like it will break off, I'm not too careful, so I'll put that one to one side. But we've got a Game of Thrones uh, sword. It could be a letter opener or something like that, I suppose, depending. Right, And um, let's move on to a Marvel superhero adventure, um, which apparently is Spider-Man. Although, not totally convinced. It looks more like Iron Man, but does it tell us anything else of... Great interest in here. This is Play School Heroes. There. And I'm not sure that this does open up. I'm just trying to open it up. I think possibly one single bit of paper. This is one I wish I could film with my left hand and open things with my right hand. No, that's definitely just a bit of card. Ages three to six. There. But fun enough anyway. Um, product and co colours may vary. Yeah, so it does sort of. I think bring into a bit of question how genuine that is when it says Spider-Man on the front and it's something else completely different in when you go through. But anyway, I'd say Spider-Man, Play School Heroes from Hasbro, apparently. So, and a uh, tiny hook there, which probably can't do much with. Anyway, it's nice, nice and squeezable. Could also be a stress toy with, without quite the normal levels of stress there. And finally, one of these posters. We always get these in these boxes as well. 
and that positive thing, it does look like the theme is Honor, and thankfully with a UK spelling as well, which is not always a good thing, so we can just about manage to get the box to hold that down and move my finger out of the way there. So lots of other honourable characters, or characters perhaps with some degree of honour, although to what extent may be debatable looking at some of those in the, the photos. So interesting enough though, good bit of graphic art there. So let's sum up, because we've got the information card here. So it does say the theme, I believe, on or just underneath. It's a bit difficult to read. So it's our mini game of Thrones Sword. There. Uh, yeah, okay, I could tell that. But there we go. We've got um, lots of pops, some great ones. Captain America is a great pop. So there we go. Um, got some mugs there, all from Adventure Time. Yeah. Um, different t-shirts could be Daredevil, Game of Thrones, The Night Watch, and Skyrim. Well, I mean, Game of Thrones is The Night Watch, presumably, but, um, Daredevil, yeah, I think it's a nice, nice shirt. And, uh, two super cute plushes. Well, that's the one we have there. So, uh, it's not a bad box. The Honor Box, May 2016, Infinity Crates. Lots of interesting items to look inside. There will be a full review value assessment up at geeksubscriptionbox.com as well. So do keep watching the videos. Thanks for all the thoughts and comments that are left on the video page and at the geeksubscriptionbox.com site with all the reviews. See you again soon for more unboxings and reviews.